Hello Aquarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma, I'm gonna be doing your love messages. And this is going to be for January 2024. Please know that this is a general message, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For accurate personal readings, white spells and premium charged crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Follow my Instagram at iNigma.in for upcoming free horoscopes and much more. If you wanna be a part of my free workshop, oh, sorry. If you want to be a part of my wish fulfillment workshop for which you can book your names for free to get a 10% discount, all the details are given down below in the description box. Sun, Moon, Rising, Ovina sign in. Various plus trust watchers can watch this read. Wait a space. All right. King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Strength. Oh, wow. There's someone that has been feeling extremely attracted towards you, but is not spilling the bean. This person hasn't told you. There is a sense of attraction they feel. You know how, who I am talking to you about. You might be knowing this. Let me clarify who is this king of swords. There's a strong pull towards you, they feel. This person is planning to come towards you. Okay, to let you know that they feel deeply passionate, intensely connected towards you. This is someone that was resisting initially. Maybe there was a, a you know, professional connection or something else was uh, stopping them, which is like they felt this is not right. Maybe they were trying to get more information about you before they can make a correct decision. This is someone that just feels intuitively connected. There's some sort of a compatibility they feel with you. Or you're about to meet this person. They could be a Leo. All right, but what I'm sensing, Leo or Cancer, what I'm sensing is this person has decided to move forward, okay? This is someone that definitely is a workaholic or someone that is uh, very successful at their work because they're highly focused yet humble. Always stay humble, no matter how much you grow in life, always stay down to earth because that is the, uh, uh, what is that called? That is the, um element okay to unlimited success okay so this is that person so i feel like this person is someone very intelligent logical they could be into uh any authoritative uh type of a profession like law they could be a, a doctor a medical professional or a bank account something at a high position this is someone that does good with money like they're very smart in finances okay so that person has finally gathered the strength to come towards you and reveal how much they are attracted towards you this is a strong sense of attraction they feel towards you okay and this is someone that is very calm and you know stable they don't like to show off they're a very simple personality but they are doing good in life really good in life very sorted personality they know what they want Okay, so this is someone that will take time to think about things and then make a decision. So that's the person that's coming for you. They know that they're coming for you. That has to be something serious and they cannot play with anyone's emotions. This is someone that values another person's time and space. Okay, they could be a Libra. This is the kind of a person you'd be happy to, you know, be open up. You'd be happy to open up to because they are not that person that um, confuses other people. You know, they know that they have to take time and they don't have to give false hopes to someone if they're not sure. So they have made uh, this decision that they want to get to know you deep and they are connecting with you on a more deeper level. And I feel like they want to lay a solid foundation now. So they want to see whether you feel the same. So they want to spend time with you. So the lovers, let me check more to this. For some of you, there could be two people that you're deciding between and one person is wealthy, another person is like more of a intelligent person. You're going to make a decision. But most of you, I feel this is the same person that is um, making a solid move towards. They're taking their time because this person does have options. Let me tell you that, Aquarius, you may not be having options. This person does have options because they're at that position in their life that nobody would say no to them because they have it all they have good uh, character they have good money they have um they are this energy where they want to lay a solid foundation with someone they're loyal so all of these things uh 
have made this person desirable right now so this is someone that is confused with other options but they're wanting to get to know you first they want to spend time with you they want to take you out and see how things grow between you guys there's a possibility that they feel like you might be their soulmate but they also want to know what's going on in your heart they could be a gemini so this is someone that is not in a rush earlier they were the person that used to set solid boundaries this was a person that was not very open to love or they they were with you especially with you they were minding their own business you both had set solid boundaries you were minding your own business you were just uh, connected with each other for some professional reasons there was nothing more than that okay this person was connecting with you thinking about i have to get my work done you were connected with this person because you thought that you have to get your work done or this was a short term communication or a discussion regarding work or around work or situation in life and that's it but that's how you also see this person but i feel like this person is wondering like what if we take things forward together and you know go to the next level in life now this person is still in this energy where they're not sure they're confused they don't know what uh, they should be doing right now this is someone that is getting more and more interested because your pictures your uh, the way you present yourself the way you look is just catching over their head and this this is someone that is not able to stop thinking about you there's someone that is thinking about how interesting you are in life and how attractive you are and there's something about you that just keeps them uh stuck on you even though this person is a very strong personality they don't get influenced by people especially through their beauty and all but with you there's something that just literally pulls them in your vibe in your energy you exude immense um positivity immense enthusiasm there's there's a lot that you exude it's, it's so real you're so real like that personality of yours is just catching over the death and the two swords I want to clarify what this is all about. Oh. Please clarify. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you. Either of you are still trying to get over the past. Either of you or both of you. Actually, both of you have this tendency to go back and forth with the past. You still have this feeling like, why did this happen to me? I want to talk to the past person. If it's not you, then 101 person, this person still not gotten over the past. And that is why they became closed off. But with you coming into their life, they're like, should I make a decision finally to let go of this past person? Because I think I found my new path, new direction. Someone is literally trying to come out of the past trauma. I feel it's both of you. This person for sure. Okay, tell me more. Four of Swords. You guys are protecting yourself from getting your heart hurt. Especially this person. That is the reason why they want to take it slow. And they don't want to also give you false hopes because they know what they've gone through. They don't want another person to go through the same thing. Sometimes I stay awake thinking, this person started to get over the past and they still think about you. They Late night, they keep thinking about, oh my gosh, that beauty, that person, they were so attractive. They had everything that I'm looking for in my life partner. This person is someone that is in the, that's, that's a highly uh, family-oriented person. This is someone that values family over anything in life. This is not a person that you can expect does clubbing and parties. No, not that kind of a person. Very family-oriented, real personality. They could have their birthday coming on 21 or adds up to 3. Uh, they just need to be clear, okay, about you. moment they clear uh, the situation with you, the moment they are clear about what you feel, they will be ready to take forward because they are very scared of getting manipulated or getting hurt or affected. So this is someone that will take their time. They started off as king of souls. Then they became king of pentacles. It could be male or female, anyone. Uh, the king means that they are giving uh, a shot on you. You are not reaching out. They are reaching out. And then they became the king of cups. The only thing that's stopping them from jumping into this king of cups energy is because they've been manipulated in the past and they don't want to go through that again. Please clarify the five of swords energy. 
they're unsure also and they're keeping their uh, feelings to themselves until unless they see what you are up to so initially i feel you're also falling in love with this person you both are starting off as friends not really revealing your feelings on the spot but slowly you're getting open you're opening up to each other and you're starting to feel connected and there's some bonding going on initially it's just starting with friendship friendship is allowing this person to understand that you are trustworthy you're not a person that's gonna hurt them yes i'm seeing you falling in love with this person you guys didn't like each other in the beginning but now you guys will fall in love with each other nine of swords now i want to clarify the nine of swords energy you both basically want family yes you have this fear that happy new beginning can't be possible somewhere you're not being very positive about this thing that you can ever be happy in life and you're like okay i think i'm supposed to be in this anxious worried fearful single left out lonely energy and i don't think so it's coming to me it's re is it really coming to me is this happiness really coming to me you're not able to trust that you're not you're very surprised okay if it's not you then this person 100 person is very surprised that is it true that i'm gonna come out of all my traumas and fears and anxiety is this my happiness is this happening like i can't believe my own eyes but there's a sense of excitement that's making this person scared and worried about things might or things might not work out as they were thinking they would so they have fear about that you guys both are wanting to connect with each other emotionally there is a heart to heart connection happening you guys are connecting to each other through heart and i'm definitely seeing you guys will go out on a date and this will get really serious between you guys but there is a red flag what is that red flag all about let me see you might doubt this person or they might doubt you let me see what that doubt is all about The Hierophant and the Knight of Wands. Hmm. We were having this uh, page. Pay attention to the red flags. Please clarify. Pay attention to the red flags. Oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah someone is not ready to believe that this is happening i think it's you because you go you have gone through a major struggle you were about to get married to someone that left you in the middle of nowhere and you don't want to experience the same thing okay if not you then this person but i feel like there is this energy where the storm is turning into a blessing changing into a blessing and the uh, red flags is like you will be confused whether this person is going to make you go through this same thing or it's actually true that they want marriage because the moment you guys meet they're going to readily talk about what are your plans for wedding what are your plans for marriage do you want to build a family and all and you're like what isn't this too quick is it real am i really living my dream so there will be a fear Okay, because this is literally happening according to your design. This is something very dreamy and unrealistic. That is why you'll be like, oh my gosh, I think this is a red flag. Because things are happening too fast. That is the fear. Okay. Just listen to your heart. Does your heart beat for this person? Give it a try. Because this depends upon how strongly you're connecting with this person on an emotional level. That is more important. Listen to your heart. You don't need to listen to other things. Most people are just trying to survive. You guys are literally getting everything you want with this relationship. This person does have the same feelings. If you love this person, they do. They really love that side of you that's like fun and that's unique and that's very talented. And try to explore your talent talented side that extraordinary side that you have
options, counseling, and author. You might be thinking of writing a book about your life or some of you are just uh, in love with writing. Somewhere there is a side of you that needs to be explored. Either it's counseling or writing. I'm, I'm seeing that if you just get more counseling, these are also like counselings only. These tarot readings that you're hearing, they're like counselings, personal or general counselling. They'll help you find what all options can you discover for you to grow in your career, in your profession. For some of you, since this is a love message, I'm sensing your person could be a counsellor, could be an author, and could be into law. But there's also one more thing. This is someone new. This is not the past person. Either you've met this person just now, or you're about to meet this person. So, be open. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Libra. A Taurus, other than the signs I told you. Please give me advice for Aquarius. The advice is, yes, you're literally upgrading your energy and becoming a higher version because you're going through a spiritual awakening where you're understanding there is more to life than money. There's more to life than knowledge. There's more to life than materialistic thing because love is the highest form of energy and the highest to highest form of energy, self-love. That is what you're realizing. So you started living for yourself and not asking for other people for your happiness. What is the advice? Easy does. Go easy. You don't have to be like worried and, you know, um, have a gentle approach to life. This is very important. If you really want to be happy, don't be too judgmental. Don't ask too many questions. Go with the flow. Observe instead of talking much. Listen instead of speaking much. And you will hear, uh, you, will, you will go through a beautiful period where there is peace and harmony. You won't be that person that's stressing over things too much. So go easy. Okay, be easy on yourself. Where is this? Finally, peace is very important for you right now. If you stay disciplined, if you stay easy on yourself, and if you focus on your goals and your dreams, you will find your peace. And when we're having door to romance. So definitely there's love life that is changing in your life. The number three is very important. Someone is 33 or someone's birthday comes on three or six. 13, 23. Adds up to three. 21. Okay. But I'm definitely seeing that a romantic cycle is about to begin. Someone has the key to your heart. And this is happening real soon. crown chakra oops so yeah what does it uh what is it trying to say you see the color pink is very important for you right now get a rhodochrosite get it from me okay i have 100 percent pure rare quality rhodochrosite available if you want to go for a cheaper but pure option and energized then go for a rose quartz pink quartz if you can so these are the uh, crystals that will really help you flourish your love life without any hard work, like very easily. Please clarify the crown chakra, ace of pentacles. You're going to make a lot of money and I'm feeling you will lay a solid foundation for yourself. If you stay um, smart in dealing with things if you take things to your heart you will get affected and you can get the relationship affected but if you go by your mind if you're smart enough to know what is this um what are those things to fight for and what are the things to not fight for and waste your time and create a distance between you guys using your mind every now and then is really important in this Okay, so this is what it is saying. I feel to build a solid foundation for a long term is really important for you guys to adjust. If you go by your heart all the time 
and say for example if they said anything and you're taking it to your heart you're getting hurt and then you're fighting with this person it's not going to work out but if you're understanding why this person got a cranky over you maybe this person is going through something so just sit down and talk rather so use your brain when there is a need for you to understand the person okay same way with this person because they're very sorted in life they don't want someone that is emotionally weak so thank you for your time aquarius and please do like share comment and subscribe to enigma i'll see you back again bye